people my people <laughs> it's you've just immediately noticed that this is the cocktail that's not being made in the usual location out in my kitchen why is this you ask it's the school holidays people are in the kitchen and we're having friends over for tonight i'm actually getting merry in the afternoon so tonight is well now you're watching is dog's nose the dog nose is a beer based cocktail so it's a beer tail now i will confess at least one of the recipes i looked up for this said that the beer had to be warmed but this is stupid. Have you ever met a fucking dog's nose that's not cold and wet? Dog's noses, if they're healthy dogs, are cold and wet. So, warms out. Sorry. The original recipe called for Guinness, but I'm a bit of a rebel. So I am making it with Munda Beach Brewery's Porter. I have a big glass with two ice cubes in it. Now, the gin... <laughs> doesn't have to be terribly good. In fact, do not use the top rated gin. So I would not be using Bond Beach Organic Drive in this particular beer tail because basically the gin is gonna get overwhelmed by the porter. This particular porter is rather dark. It's closer to a stout, which is the original recipe calls for Guinness, but I love things Australian, I love things Melbourne, and with the exception of the gin, which is Santori gin. Uh, I'm going as local as I can. So, the simple recipe is I grab the Santori gin because I'm a type of guy. I'm pouring two shots into it. So, it's the school holidays. It's going to be a fair bit of alcohol. Um, drunk with three kids in the house, I assure you. So that's two shots of Suntory Sui Gin. Big on the citrus, nice, drunk, neat. It is proof. I'm grabbing my ice cold, straight out of the fridge, Munda Beach Brewery. Yes, link in the description. Trying to blow my fingernails as I pop the tab on this. Any noises in the background, it's more likely my have to be 14 year old playing games on his computer. And basically what I've done off camera is pour this into the glass. So two shots of this wicked stuff. Relatively plain but citrus forward gin. I'm going to stir, not shake note from the wildly stupid do not shake beer cocktails okay because if you put this into one of these and proceed to agitate it you know what beer's full of beer food beer's full of gas it's the reason why it froths so if i grab it and go like this apparently it sounds really good for the skin not so good for the dis uh temperament of the wife who then insists that one cleans up the entire fucking kitchen. Not that I would ever be that stupid. You can stop laughing. Yes, I've got an ex-wife to tell me I'm stupid. So yeah, do not shake beer to cocktails, okay? Otherwise, like I say, that's pretty really good for your skin. So, it's a good solid porter. Mildly chocolatey. There's a bit of coffee in there. Um, what am I tasting? Yep, yeah, soft tan head, full bodied aromas, coffee and chocolate. Yep, that's the deal. So here is the beer tail. I have the beer tail drinko. And that. It's a way of enjoying beer in winter. If it's really cold, don't have the ice. You know, we have the hot nugget. So thank you very much for watching. That's the dog's nose because it's cold and wet and I've never really eaten a dog's nose, but this one's delicious. So chin chin or kanpai because it's got the Japanese in it. So, so it's tuned for more beautiful cocktails. Simple, two ingredients. Like me, simple, two ingredients. 
GM food. Mm. I could fall in love. Ketchup. <laughs>